Hello there all, my name is Kate and today we're visiting Czech Republic, also known as Czechia. And I'm going to share with you 10 most shocking, most interesting, most fascinating, most amazing facts about the country. The country is located in Central Europe, but considered to be Eastern Europe. More about that later. It comprises historical provinces of Bohemia and Moravia, a region of rolling hills and mountains. Bohemia is dominated by the national capital Prague, set on the Tava River, this picturesque city of bridges and myriad of masterpieces of generations of artists. So 10 shocking facts about Czech Republic. After a short intro, we're going to start learning about this fascinating country. Fact number one, it's all castles. Here in Czech Republic you will find medieval originals of Europe in abundance. It's all castles, literally. Czech Republic has the highest castle density in the world. Fairy tale, no less. get all of the original medieval charm with more than 2,000 castles around the country, which is not that big, by the way. Not enough to impress you? That's not all. Prague Castle is the largest in the world. The reasons behind such an abundance of castles are in both distant and recent history. Prague, for example, used to be a capital of Holy Roman Empire, bringing a castle building boom to Prague and surrounding areas. And the recent history, Prague was the only major city in Europe that was not extensively bombed during the World War II. For these reasons, you will find many of the buildings and historical centers standing as were originally built, some dating back to Middle Ages, making a country a paradise for both history and castle lovers. I consider myself to be both, therefore I really enjoyed traveling in the country. Fact number two, it's all about the beer. Not Germans, but Czech drink the most beer in the world. No, really, there is statistics to back it up, according to Kirin Beer University, Yes, there is such a thing, <laughs> I know, right? Not just in a single random year, but ever since 1993, Czech Republic has topped the charts as the beer lover of the world. Czech drink more beer per capita than anyone else in the world, consuming an average staggering 160 liters per person per year versus only 106 liters in Germany. Who wouldn't drink this much if it's good? This begs the question, is it any good? And what's the best beer in Czech Republic? This precious piece of information will be revealed to you later. Intrigued? Stay tuned. Fact number three, the oldest and the darkest astronomical clock. Prague's old town is the home to the third oldest astronomical clock in the world and the oldest astronomical clock that is still working today. Famous for its beauty, this clock has a darker side to it. The story goes like this. Long time ago, in a faraway land, a clockmaker, Mikolaos of Kadan, after completing Prague astronomical clock, got loads of offers from other countries to make the same clocks for them. The Council of Prague heard about this and was not terribly thrilled. To ensure that they would stay the special little pumpkins that they were, a novel cause indeed, they figured the best, most reasonable thing to do was to burn Mikolaos' eyes. And could you argue with the logic? In spite of these brutal efforts, there is actually a replica of Prague astronomical clock, we'll never guess where, in South Korea. Fact number four, Prague is the Hollywood blockbuster capital. <laughs> Who would have thought? The first big Hollywood blockbuster filmed in Prague was Tom Cruise's Mission Impossible. Then there was The Illusionist, and one of the movies that I really, really liked and would recommend you watching it called Yentl. It starts in a very beautiful way, in a time when the world of study belonged only to men, there lived a girl called Yentl. Les Miserables and Casino Royale were also shot here, the list goes on. Fact number five, 
Prague was the seat of the Holy Roman Empire, in other words, was the capital of the Holy Roman Empire. So what was this Holy Roman Empire? Was it holy? Was it Roman? Was it even an empire? So it was a notional realm in Central Europe, which lasted for around a thousand years until 1806. Its name, however, is highly misleading. The French philosopher Voltaire once described the realm as neither holy, nor Roman, nor even an empire. Most of the territories were never part of the original Roman Empire. The subjects were not Romans. It was political entity no holier than any other. It simply, I don't know, sounded cool and intimidating perhaps for the ancient world. During the reign of Charles IV, he moved the capital to Prague. No wonder everything here is named after him. The bridges, the castles, the streets, the squares, and even the universities. Fact number six. Is it east? Is it west? Or what? Czech Republic, strictly speaking, is located in Central Europe. It's more to the west than the west, but it's still considered to be east. Confused yet? Clearly the actual location isn't everything when it comes to east or west. Let me try to explain. During the Cold War, Czechoslovakia was considered a part of Eastern Europe. Clearly no one consulted a geographer. However, Prague, for example, is actually further west than Vienna, Austria, which is considered to be a part of Western Europe. So what is the story? On February 25th, 1948, Czechoslovakia, until then the last standing democracy in Eastern Europe, voluntarily, maybe even happily, become a communist state, triggering more than 40 long, long years of socialist paradise. And then in 1993, they were like, you know, no more paradise for us. Today, Czech Republic has the highest standard of living in of any former Soviet bloc countries. Congratulations to Czech, but it still does feel a little bit like the Eastern Europe. Fact number seven, Czech Republic has it all when it comes to architecture. Practically whatever architectural style you can name, you will be able to find here. Be it Baroque, Gothic, Renaissance, Romanesque, Classicism, Art Nouveau, Cubism, Functionalism, and even architecture of communist era. They're all on display around the country. Fact number eight. Czech are mad about mushrooms. Not like that kind of magic mushrooms, but any edible mushrooms. The only thing Czech love more than eating mushrooms is hunting for them. To such a degree that at the end of September, the peak of the mushroom season, Czech cities become empty because everyone has gone mushroom hunting. I love mushrooms and consider myself an expert, so I understand Czech. Check of mushrooms. I don't have enough, I don't have the guts to eat them. I'm always afraid I would die, but uh, it's always fun to, to try at least to check them online, which ones those are and stuff like that. Fact number nine, many true celebrities come from Czech Republic. Who would be the most famous one of all? Let me give you a hint. One morning when Gregor Samsa woke from troubled dreams, he found himself transformed in his bed into a horrible vermin. Guess what Georg was mostly worried about? about his work, about making it to 8 a.m. train so he won't be quite so late to work. Franz Kafka, born July 3rd, 1883, in Prague, German language writer of visionary fiction whose works, especially Die Verwandlung, the one that we're talking about right now, The Metamorphosis, expresses the anxieties and alienation felt by many in the 20th century, and I would argue still today. Kafka led a tough life full of suffering, growing up with abusive father and weak mother. Reading his novels, speaking from personal experience, helps us to see that we are not alone in our struggles and that alienation is universal. Lessons that we can take from Kafka's life and his novels are, first of all, dedicate yourself to your craft, tell the truth, and love yourself. And you're all set. In the style of many enigmatic literary figures like Emily Dickinson, Kafka requested upon his death his unpublished works to be burned. Luckily for us, his executor and close friend Max Broad ignored his request. 
fact number 10. Charles University is the oldest university in Czech Republic and one of the oldest in the world. Founded in 1348. The oldest university, just for putting it in perspective, is University of Bologna in Italy that is in continuous operation since 1088. So 1348 is still very impressive. Charles University is in the top 20 or so oldest still operating universities of the world. And for those patient few beer lovers, guys, the best beer in Czech Republic, drum rolls, is probably Pilsner Urquell Nifiltrovany, ranked number one in Czech Republic according to the raidbeer.com. So that would be all about the most fascinating, amazing, unbelievable, incredible and shocking 10 facts about Czech Republic. Let me know what you liked, let me know what was new and truly shocking for you, let me know what you know about Czech Republic. Thank you so much for joining, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to put the like and see you soon.